Now then, this guy's halfway between friend and rival. I definitely want this guy as a friend, if I can help it. So, let's get on with the... No, I'll save it. Right. I've got black crosses here. What does this mean? There's a lot of dwarves kicking around as well. Bodan. Um, I remember that. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. How do you know it's my expedition? I'm not even on it yet. Dangerous. I'm oh, I'm all a tremble. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. Said <laughs> well. Do you wish to peruse my wares? No. Or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. Investigate. Your son is an enchanter? I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fabled dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. Scratching his ass. I like him jumping. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? How did you end up here? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true roads. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Peralta. See, I remember this guy. Brave warden and vanquisher of the blood. You knew the hero? He, he provided me with some stuff, I remember. To defeat the blight. In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine man. After all his accomplishments, may he find even greater success. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Right, so I've done all then. I wish to buy something, goodbye, enchanting. Right, I wish to buy something. Let's see what this guy has. I can't afford anything, but let's have a look. Peruse my wares? Right. What do you need, my good friend? I wish to buy something. Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free. I just fucking did. Enchantment apparatus. Oh, is there? Look. Go down to goods. Right, buy. How much do I actually have? Right, I've got two sovereigns, which is lovely. Um, I think they're sovereigns anyway, the gold ones. There's a great sword there, but I'm sure I have one of them already. 31 silver, 5 bronze. She does the staff, doesn't she? Requires 17 magic, which she didn't have. Imported Antivan Blade. So actually, that is better than one that I've got now. Do I really want to use it though? Requires 15 strength, which is... Yeah, I'll fucking buy it. Fuck it. And that, he doesn't use any of them. Let's get that equipped on him. If it isn't already. Right, so that's what I've got equipped. That's better. That's well better, that is. Definitely have that. Smuggled Ferelden Blade. Requires weapon and shield. I could sell some of this stuff, to be honest. Um, let's go and sell some stuff. Sell. Right, I've got that Ferelden Broadaxe. It doesn't need that. 
Right, input, you don't need that because I've just had it replaced. One silver! It's going to take me a lot of fucking money, this. Right. You don't you won't use that for holding greatsword. Because two handed. He's never going to use weapon and shield because I like two handed. Mind you. Nah, fuck it. Uh, lands. Four, eight per second. I'll get rid of that. All the shields, I'm never going to use a shield unless obviously I come against, come across a person that um, will do that. So I'll keep the best one I've got and get rid of the two shitty ones. And Birch Car. She's got a well better one than that, so. Sell that as well. And, well, they're the obvious, obviously the dwarves. Back from the first game. Bartrand. Bear, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nuzzling dirt farmer. Why do you promise him something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. I feel so welcome. There's so much love here. It's very <laughs> comforting. What I love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Investigate. Why do I... What do I get in return? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. And dwarves are loyal. Why so much that coin? like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. No, I can imagine. Give me time. I'm still figuring that part out. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Barger. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. I'll take it, yes. <laughs> uh, is that a door of some sort? No. Must be there for a reason. Um, yeah, spoken to them. What is this fucking cross all about? Let's go exploring this place a bit more. Right. Talk to anybody of these now? All these doors and you can't go in there. Oh, no. Oh, you snooty bitch. I'll slap your face, you say, smart again. Red Lantern District. Well, the Red District. Red Light District. Have we got uh, Red Lantern? Oh, I love that. like your brother very much. And here I thought it took blood magic to read minds. I had a twin brother, Carver. He used to nail my braid to the bed while I was sleeping. <laughs> I never thought I'd miss him this much. Sorry about your brother. Hey, you want mine? I got a spare. <laughs> the Red Lantern District, right. Prozzies. Where's the Prozzies? The Blooming Rose. I can imagine them being in there, that's for sure. I shall take a look in a minute. Leave the area, I don't Ferelden dog. How dare you call me a dog? Right, I'm going into the Blooming Rose. Where's the prozzes? 